Yeah, but it doesn't matter. They're not gonna let you fight him. Why are they not gonna let me fight? Because they're not. You just say, I'm gonna call the cops. I'm gonna run the tape. Hey, hey, you're trespassing. Leave or you're going to jail. Leave or you're getting arrested. So arrested. Trespass after warning. Okay. We're going. No, I'm not staying. Listen. I'm not staying. Let's go. Karens are people who get out of control in some situations. But how out of control could it go with them and with cops? Here are several times when this happened, starting with. Case 1. On November 24th, 2022, the police responded to a distress call reporting a street dispute. Upon arrival, they encountered an intoxicated woman engaged in a heated verbal argument with her ex-boyfriend. What are you guys doing down here? 77 and not 10 with Nothing anymore. Okay. Okay. So, what, what were you arguing about? Okay. We're not, we're fine. Well, no, you, you were because I got a call that you were, so. I mean. What's, yeah, what's, your, what's his name? Steven. Steven, where'd he go? I don't know, he ran, I guess, when he said it like the cops, so he ran. He's already been arrested. He's How'd you get here? Um, from him. Okay, what, what's he driving? This. Oh, this? Okay. Do you have a cell phone number that I can talk to him? Do you know it? Yeah, I yeah. do. What's his phone number? I'll give him a call. Um, it's six. You guys, boyfriend, girlfriend, married? No. No? I'm no. leaving. No, no, no. Are you are you and Steven boyfriend, girlfriend? No. Uh, I'm leaving. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Hey, um, I'm here with Ashley, I guess. So, what's, what's going on? Are you just, just arguing or what? Because I'm getting the calls that you guys were... Yeah, she needs to, she needs to rest some of this off, so. Okay. So you guys, are you guys like, do you, are you dating or what? Do you know how to start the eviction process? Do you know how that works? Okay, yeah. Yeah, so you gotta go to Bartow. Um, gotta go to Bartow and actually file for an eviction at the courthouse. And then, um, so it, it takes a little bit of time. It takes about 30 days, and then they will, um, the sheriffs will come and serve her for that, and then she'll have to leave. But uh, you can only do that at the courthouse. Um, so the sooner you do that, the better off you are. Look, she's been cooperative. She's not in trouble, but I mean, I, I don't want her walking around, you know, uh, in this state. So, but just uh, uh, look, man, you're not in any trouble. You can just come on back and we'll, you know, figure this out. Or you can hang out, whatever you're gonna do, whatever you want to do. I'll come in and have that. I don't know. Yeah. 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 I'm staying back over here. I'm staying back over here. I don't want you guys to be this close. back over here. Yes, I want to say it. Initially cooperative, she maintained a semblance of composure. However, as the encounter unfolded, her demeanor shifted dramatically. The only one that knows if you can drive. I mean, I, yeah. I can't. I can't determine no, that I mean, for I you. Know but, I, can, I mean, you seem but like you're legally wise. Away, but... Maybe not. I don't know. I'm not going to sit here and tell so you. You want to call it open for her? Or are you just going to let her hang out? No, we, we no, planned bro, to walk we around. We live together. What? Okay. We plan to walk around town, Wait. but that. Yeah, but uh, that, you want that, it over that, she can't. She can't be walking around. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Yes, I'm taking a Where break. Where are you going? I, I, will be, I will be back for you. I'm not... Where are you going? I'm coming. No, no you can't listen. No. You can't hey, walk. You need, you need to... You're not in a very good no, shape to walk. No, I'm coming. Where are you going? I'm not. Hey, you're hey, not hey, leaving hey, me, Steve. No, you're not, not leaving me, Steve. Ashley, okay. I'm not leaving you. That's crap, so what are you doing? I'm, I'm not an idiot. Go ahead I'm not an idiot. Go ahead Where are you bring him? What's up? Where are you bring We're him? Not anywhere. I'm not taking him anywhere. Go ahead and have then a seat. Sit with me. I cannot right now. Yes, you can. Alright, go ahead and have a seat right here. Come on. Have a seat in the truck. 
What? So we go party with you no, he's guys? Not, listen, he's not going anywhere. Have a seat in the truck. You're a liar. No, you're a liar. You're a fucking liar. The woman's initial calmness gave way to anger, and she started hurling insults at the police, seemingly asserting immunity due to her connections. This defiant attitude escalated when she began resisting arrest. Off, he had a few drinks just like you did. Yeah, yeah at the bar that you were going to. And he wants to walk it off before he drives home. He wants to take you home. You're a goddamn liar. Okay, get in the truck. You're a fucking liar. Okay, you can call me whatever you want. That's fine. But I'm not gonna. We're not gonna stand here and play this, okay? That's I'm right. trying to. I'm trying to be cool with you. I yeah. Want you to be cool with me. Take my boyfriend and uh, fuck him we, over. We're not doing anything with him. We're going. Stay. Stay no, the, I'm not staying. Listen. listen. I'm not staying. Listen. Let's go. We're not going anywhere. Oh really? Well, let's find that out. I'm going. I'm going. Going where? Wherever y'all are going. I'm going We're now. We're not going anywhere. That's great. So what's the purpose of this? I'm not stupid. Whole family's the cops. I don't play that dumb shit. So let's go. Let's go. Your whole family parties with people in the middle of the day? We're at work. My whole family has more words and um, they're actually really respectful. And you don't even, can't beat that actually. Okay. Do you have anybody else I can call to come get you? Do you have any other friends or any Where other Where is he? Where is he? I already told you. Do you have anybody else I can call? Where is he? Stay right there. Hey, is there anybody else I can call to come get her? Um, She's she's on the verge of me taking it, so I don't, you know, try not to be that guy, but I can't stand here and argue with her for another hour. Any other family members, any friends, anybody? Okay. Okay. I think I think maybe you leaving was the wrong idea or the wrong thing because she's just. Yeah, just, yeah, yep. You can even, listen, you can sit in the truck with her. Once, once you, just don't put the keys in ignition. Once you guys feel good, just roll home, all right? The situation underscored the consequences of non-compliance with law enforcement. The officers faced the challenge of managing an increasingly volatile encounter. You don't talk to me like that. Okay, so I can sit on the other side. We're gonna wait a little while. We're gonna hang out, listen to some music. Where did you go? I walked around the block. Where? Bullshit! What do you mean? For what? What'd you lie about? The police officers asked me to ash. Oh, really? Because we have a bunch here. So, where'd you go? I, Can you give me my drugs, please? Thank you, because I know that's what you're doing. Give me drugs. Here you go. Give them. Give them to me. Ashley. I'm not pulling this. What are you doing? Do not. Do not Ashley, don't touch me. No, it's too late. Don't touch me. You should have don't. done that. Yep, you took it too uh, far, Ashley. Don't touch me. Stop. Is that safe? Stop. Relax. Stop. Relax. Stop. Relax. What are you doing? Stop. Ashley, stop. Stop. You're making it worse. I'm going inside. You're making more. it worse. It's done now. You did it. All you had, they were being really cool with us. You ruined it. <laughs> Ashley, it's relax. Not on me. You need to relax. Relax. You know, I'm going inside. You know, relax. fuck you. Yes, Ashley, stop. You're not over me. It's done now. Everyone, they were being cool. Now you just ruined it. Sorry. Get them off me. Come on. No, get them off me. Off. Stop! Stop! 
Stop! Come on, let's go. Take my shit off. Come on out. Come on out. We're gonna take it off from here. We'll take it off from here. Come on. Come on. Despite the woman's initial cooperation, her refusal to adhere to police directives demonstrated the complexity of the situation. If you thought this was extra, wait until you see this woman who lost it. Case 2. On the 2nd of November, 2022, in a tumultuous incident at Tampa Airport, a visibly intoxicated woman faced a series of escalating confrontations. So he couldn't, he no, Nina, how's that fighting with that woman? He just said. Right, but now. Yes, that is what I wanted. What are you saying? You said to cut it out. Right, but now you look at the phone. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You're going to make it work. So, they're not going to do business. No. Okay. You just said that. I'm going in, right? I'm going in. There you go. You just said that. Is this, is this, is this for both of them? What about, what about, um, y'all going to leave the air side? Okay. But he said, we're going to run the tapes. Wait, you got, you got, hold on, hold on. You know what he said? He said, we're going to run the tapes. Okay. We're going to see, wait, she tried to hit me. Or kick me or okay, that, so this is what this is. Well, hey guys, words. guys, bro, bro, right, but babe, babe, babe. y'all gotta leave. Guys, you guys are rebooked for tomorrow. Wait, I know my rights. Okay. So I can't. Hey guys, they're not gonna let you fly tonight. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. They're not gonna let you fly tonight. Why are they not gonna let me fly? Because they're not. He just said, "I'm gonna call the cops. I'm gonna run the tape." Hey, hey. What's your name for? What's your name? What's your first name? Jason. It doesn't matter what the tape showed. They're not gonna let you fly tonight. So why he had to tell me that? Listen to me. Why he had to say that? What is it? Threaten me like, oh, I'm gonna run the tape. Listen to me. Listen to us. We're we're here now. You guys are no, listen. You guys, are, it's not about size. No, but it's not you guys are rebooked for tomorrow, but but that's but you fair. Don't, you know what? I don't pay. You, you're not going to make it. That's not fair. You know, I know my rights. You're not going to make it. I know my rights. This doesn't have anything to do with rights. At the end of the day, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Hey. I could call. No, hey, you nothing. can call and complain if you're you want right. to. It's but this has no. And I'll give a sick fight for you. Shot me. Initially denied entry onto her scheduled flight due to inebriation. The situation turned tense as she engaged in a heated altercation with airline employees. They're all a bunch of lies, though. No, I'm not taking please. anyone's side. Chat, please. Hey, hey, they please. Just say, oh, Stop yelling. watch the video, watch the tape. Oh, he, she tried to Chat, I'm going to smack the shit out of you in two seconds. Well, don't They're do that, please. Is this all your stuff? Oh, yeah, hey, is. is this your stuff, guys? Uh, it's my stuff. You need to go. I'm used to the shit. I'm working you out. I'm not. What that? When we get up, when we get across to the main terminal. When we get to the other side, buddy. Let's go. Come on. Stop. Stop playing games. Bro, really gotta go. No. You can fucking hold it like that. So, piss and piss. I'll take Oh, y'all need to go. No. I want the other side. Take a picture. I'll take a picture. Let's go. Do you not know how to play the game? Let's play. Because guess what? I don't like fing rights. You gotta pee? Yeah, and you ain't yeah, gotta pay you, a fucking dollar. Want, so here's the thing. If you this way, guys. This way. Chester, you still want the A1 for the game? 
If we're gonna sit here and cause a disturbance, There's you, no you disturbance. Uh, there was. Let's disturbance. go. Walk. There wasn't disturbance in to be. There was. Honest. She's screaming. Cause no, a disturbance. Yeah. Now because you okay. came. Right. And but before because that, I came. But before that, there was no disturbance. So listen. So when he said that. So when there's a disturbance we, we and you're both not both highly intoxicated. Listen. But that I could board the flight, but she couldn't. Okay. So I, how are you gonna say it doesn't matter? We're both we're, highly we, But we got past that. So they called us. I know because I called you. And you don't have a flight. I told. So listen, bro. I had a flight. Yeah, but they canceled it. Right here, this way, this way, this way, this way. So you're rebooked for tomorrow. You don't have any business over here tonight. So you can't be over here causing disturbances or I'm be over here. Nothing. I'm just trying to get on my flight. Man. Okay, so we want you to get on your flight. That's why we're trying me. to keep I'm everything calm, bro. So we're trying to get you home. Right over here. I just asked you to tell them we don't tell them to anything. run the footage because that's what they told me. They're like, matter. when the cops come, they're going to run the footage. Come over here. see that, that something happened like that she tried to kick me when they were lying completely like. if they decide they're not going to book you and rebook you we don't have any control no, they're already, but no it's not bad it's just saying that can you tell us you want bro huh? we're trying to be real chill no, no can you tell us you want Caution, do not enter. The doors are closing. Please wait for the next train. Caution, do not enter. The doors are closing. Please wait for the next train. Caution, do not enter. The doors are closing. Please wait for the next train. Alex, I can't get to that phone right now. We're escorting these people over the other side. Please wait for the next train. Maybe going to that train. Alright, folks. Do you know what I know? Concerned about the escalating scene, police intervene to assess and manage the situation capturing the attention of onlookers. As the woman was escorted and subsequently arrested, the already volatile situation took a new turn. Get off the train. Get off the Arrest me, you know why? Because I got my right! Come on, get off the train. Let's go. Get off the train for what? The whole day? We no, he needs to go though, right? But he needs to go, right? Yes or no? No one can go. Attention, the doors have not closed properly. Please be sure that you and your belongings are clean. Who the f is you? Who the f is you? That's not the way it works. 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 We need a female officer here. No, we don't. Jump in the f you do. Hey, leave. Okay, hey, listen. You trespass. Leave or go. You're going to jail. Leave or you're getting arrested. So arrest Cross pass me. after warning. So okay. So oh, I got a bullet pass. Move. Move. You're under arrest. How am I under arrest? Put your hand behind your back. Put your hand behind your back. There you go. Take that off. You don't need that. You're not going to need that in jail. Chat, chat, take my phone. Yeah, chat. Yep. Hold on, hold on, bro. Stand back. Stand back. I'm saying back. Stand 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 back. 115. You show me 1015. Yeah, that's tough. Set one. You, you want to go back over to the terminal or you want to go home? No, we'll go straight here. I want to go home. Go. You're not going home now. You got a new one. Can you see, Let me get, you get her ID? I don't have ID. You're flying without ID? They, they let me pass with proof of what I needed okay. as proof. Okay, all right. Me We're arresting you for trespass after warning and disorderly intoxication. I'm not intoxicated. Yes, you are. Though. How? Never drink. Never drink. I had never two. Drink. What are you talking drink. about? No. Do you know how many people drink? Listen, I didn't want problems. You don't understand. So am I. I went to look at that. I didn't spit in your face. Not intentionally. You're lying right now. Not intentionally. You're saying I spit in your face? I'm not charging you. Oh, my dead father, bro. I never spit in your face. You're a liar. Sweetheart, I spit in his face? He said it wasn't intentional. I never intentional. I never spit in nobody's face. In front of authorities, she experienced a meltdown, displaying a range of emotions that added to the chaotic scene. Hold on to your seats to witness this Karen, who was on another level. Case 3. On December 2nd, 2022, law enforcement responded to a distress call arising from a tumultuous altercation. 
The source of the conflict was a couple grappling with financial hardships, sparked by the boyfriend's substantial gambling loss, estimated at around $1,500, predominantly in fish games. Cute girl, girl, Melissa. Well, that name sounds familiar. Yeah, exactly. Why does that name sound familiar? Because <laughs> we deal with it all the time. It's what happened to we went to the fish games in Oxford. We were supposed to be going home. And I fell asleep in the car. We got these at the fish games. So we spent all the money that we had. So anyway, he spent like $1,500. We got in a fight about it. And he's like, oh, it's because we're arguing. So I'm like, okay, that's because we're arguing. Go and spend $1,500. You're a grown man. Take responsibility for it. So are you, you involved in all this or? No. Well, did you just walk up at the them. end or? Oh, uh, I'm just friends. Okay. How'd y'all come? Were you in the car with them at all tonight? I, uh, they, uh, they picked me up at uh, the fish table. Down there in Oxford? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, no problem. So did you see what happened here or? They just been arguing like cats and dogs. Yeah, not yet. Okay. Well, what, what's up with the fight? Yeah. They just been arguing like a month. Oh, and I try, I try not to get involved. What's going on? Man? Let me get your information real quick. What's your first name? Um, so that's your girlfriend. Yeah. So what happened with you guys tonight? Okay, we were pulling in here, and the car started uh, messing up, and we had the Fiat we missing. She was trying to take the key from me, and I was trying to get it back for her. And then, like, I noticed that it got bent more. So I told him I was trying to get out and find the rock, or like in the tracks there. Because when I first bought the car, I had an issue. The key had been bent prior, and from time to time, I would have to, like, just from turning it so many times, I would have to, like, help it back out, you know, one way or the other. He's, I tried to snatch the keys from him, and he snatched them back from me, and then got pissed because I don't have a license anyway. So I wasn't going to try to drive, but I was going to, like, try to prevent him from driving. And um, so he went to go see his ex-girlfriend that just got out of jail to pay her money to get her hotel room. And it pissed me off because... I felt like that's not his responsibility anymore. You know what I mean? So. Next thing I know, she's in the front seat. It's like, well, and he's picking on him, and I'm trying to grab her from keep her from kicking him in the head and stuff. And okay. You know what the fight's about? The fish table. Okay. About the money? Yeah. How much did he lose? Uh, I'm not sure how much he lost, but I know it's a lot. What you, what would you get? The disagreement escalated into a heated confrontation within their vehicle. Amidst the argument, the woman, concerned about her boyfriend's suspected state of intoxication, took preventative measures by kicking him and confiscating his keys to deter him from driving. I have to go to the car. Okay. So I don't know who that car's registered to or what's going on, but... Uh, I mean, I think we got her for domestic all day. So do you guys stay in Ocala? Yeah, we live in Ocala. We live in Ocala, we have a place. Well, we have a camper, but we're saving up to get a place. We just had a hard time finding one. Right. We got like 15,000 down that we've been saving up and still can't find one. So we don't want to just rent something we want to do, rent to own or just buy one completely. So right. we've been working our asses off trying to get shit done so we going to fish games to do that just it's, yeah it's not helping i'm just slap in the face it's just like and that name has her on yeah it's uh it's like a vop warrant for a dui uh, she's got all the tattoos up there on her like below her neckline yeah they didn't have any of those on the last two booking photos because why would we like to take pictures of like you know your social yes i do What's your social? Babe, give me my social. Go on my messages. Well, I, just, I don't uh -huh. need him to go on. Do you know your social, yes or no? If you don't know it, then you don't know it. Yeah, I don't fine. need you to go I, get, get someone else's social off there. Well, I'm 99% sure I know who you are. So we can quit playing the games anytime. I have my social written down. It's yeah. five, five, but you don't know. already match up. 
Uh, That's nothing what you just started describing to me. You said 5-5-2, five, five, two, two, and now it's 2-2-5. Two, two, okay, and the last officer, I gave him the wrong shit because I was an orphan. I just got my paperwork. Okay. Like, okay. I'm going to go see if they send this time. All right, well, while they're doing that, we'll go conf confront her about it and see what she's got to say. And... Pull, the, pull your blanket back. All right, Melissa, go ahead and stand up. That's who you are, right? Yeah. Yeah, I know. So now, now you got new charges for providing no, leave, leave that on the ground. I can't hit my no. cigarette. Leave it on the ground. You want to play games and not tell me I'm who you are? I'm not going to risk you putting that cigarette up near one of my deputies. Well, get the f off of me. Stop resisting. I'm not motherfucking resisting. You are. You're pulling away. No, the f I'm not. Put on the ground. Put it on the ground. Put it awesome. on the ground. Fucking pussy ass call. Get the f off of me. I'm not fucking resisting. You dude. were resisting. Dude, dude. I had surgery on my fucking wrist. Well, I guess. When police arrived, she allegedly provided a false name, resulting in charges related to providing misleading information. The woman now faces charges for domestic battery, a consequence of the physical altercation with her boyfriend during the dispute. Additionally, she is charged with resisting arrest and battery on a law enforcement officer. Really see what, what I see it kept hitting me in the yeah, belt. What I, what I saw, it looked like she pulled her leg back to get yeah. enough to keep okay. that, so. Just watch the video. Yeah. If, you, if, 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 she, if it looks like, like it she was, like if it looks like it was something that she was intentionally doing, then we're good. But if it looks like she was just flailing, and I couldn't tell from the angle. <laughs> Can I please, please, please smoke a woman's cigarette, no. please? Absolutely not. Please. All that, making us put you on the ground and all that, I would have, but since you want to pull the and all that, we're not going to do I'm sorry, man. I'm getting back out of the car. Please. Please, man, I'm going to do like a year, please. I did not fucking hit him. I grabbed the fucking keys out of his fucking hand. I have multiple people no. called in and said, No, the, the, the black the people from Waffle House walked up and they were trying to say like ask me was I okay like he beat me. And I said no, it was me, ma'am. The latter charge stems from an alleged incident where she kicked an officer's leg during the arrest process further complicating an already tumultuous encounter. That's all, because I didn't want him to go down. Mm. Fuck him. Before we got here, they said they watched you hit him several times. Dude, I did not fucking hit him. I yanked the fucking keys out of the car. And we tussled for a second. That was it. So, if I've got fucking habitual offender driving with no license, and then... And two DUIs, but one, I was like a, a juvenile. They shouldn't even held it against me. Then they put me on probation, and I had 72 hours to go to California. But the fucking guy I was dating canceled my flight. And uh, so I never made it there. And so I ended up stuck here in fucking Ocala. And so my probation got revoked or whatever you know like I mean I could have called or whatever but I was scared so <laughs> um, what do you think what do you think will happen now I might look at what fuck me man. really I just I've been trying to fucking want to fucking get it taken care of I was just too fucking of a coward to fucking call and be like hey I'm right here get me my fucking mom's dying and shit. And I'm like, I can fucking can't handle that shit. Her, her being, me being in jail with her fucking died.